okay, I'll do it. I'll talk about the tweet. At this point, it feels like a ton of people from Xbox, a ton of people from PlayStation, people are pissed about a joke made by somebody at the top of Xbox claiming PlayStation 5 counts as an Xbox. But I want to talk about this because the whole controversy about this joke is uh, is kind of silly just in general. But I do feel like it highlights that a lot of people, even if they are big fans of the Xbox, are getting annoyed about how Xbox handles its business. But let's get into it. I hope you're having a great day, and if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So this was officially published about 36 hours ago, and I swear so many subscribers have told me to look at this, so many people have sent me this, but this is what it is. The senior social media manager of Xbox posts a picture of a PlayStation 5 Pro specifically and says this is a Xbox. Now, a lot of people in the comments, of course, are instantly making fun of the fact that this is a typo. Wouldn't it be this is an Xbox rather than a Xbox? Isn't PlayStation pronounced Crossbox? You know, so everybody's making fun of the fact that it's incorrect grammar from the head of Xbox management. A little bit funny. But a lot of people are basically saying, okay, just do it. Give up. If you guys are not going to care about the state of Xbox, if PlayStation counts as Xbox, just give us Forza. Just give us Halo. Just give up completely, right? You're trying to make a buck. Put the games where the gamers are at. Now, the context of it is that originally Jeff Keighley tweeted out the very, very chic and stylish 30th anniversary PlayStation 5 Pro. Uh, this thing is that delicious, delicious retro gray. I got the controller and the people that got the PlayStation 5 Pro, I'll admit it. I'm jealous. I think it does look incredibly good. But he said, if you know, you know. And here, this Xbox person, again, I do want to be clear, this is the senior social media manager. This is the guy who is in charge of tweets. I can't really say this is a, a misslip. It is definitely a... Uh, Definitely a calculated tweet here says this is an Xbox. I'm going to pronounce it correct, even if it is a uh, typo here. And uh, lots and lots of people are getting very pissed. A lot of people making memes. Obviously, this is Twitter where people go to fight about video games. We're going to take a look at some Blue Sky posts here because even on Blue Sky, the fallout of this has been uh, rather substantial. But he says, some of y'all need to take, some of y'all take Twitter too seriously. I'm just joking with Jeff. Now, let's be clear. This is definitely a joke. Obviously, it's a joke. But I think that a lot of the backlash, a lot of the anger, the reason a lot of people are kind of just laughing about it and making memes of loss and stuff like that is that it's pretty obvious that if you were ever a devout Xbox fan, if you ever were the kind of person that says, we've got the best exclusives, prepare for next year, get ready for the Game Pass domination, it's so interesting to watch that a lot of that hype, that fervor, that dedication to what Xbox was is very quickly receding like this. So if that's an Xbox, I wasted my money buying an Xbox, an actual Xbox Series S and Series X. So y'all tell consumers they wasted their money and should have gotten a PS5. Now, let's be clear. This is a person that does seem to be actually pissed. If you go over to the Xbox Reddit, most people are like, okay, it's a joke. Look, man, it's definitely just a piece of humor. But I did see this one comment here. One of the top comments that did strike me. I love my Xbox Series S, but it's going to be my last Xbox console. If they're releasing everything on the PlayStation, there is pretty much zero reason to buy the next Xbox it's sad, honestly, rest in peace. Now, the reason I find this sentiment fascinating is that there really is, I, I feel like the marketing of Xbox has been so detrimental to their brand of constantly saying, play your games anywhere you want. There is an exact methodology to how the console wars have in the past very much led to increased sales. I mean, just the classic Sega does what Nintendo don't, that did lead to a lot of sales of the Sega Genesis that spiked the sales of Sonic Adventure 2. But even when it comes to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 3, Sony really tried to say, 
this is where the games are at. We've got Uncharted, we've got Killzone, we've got stuff that Xbox doesn't have. And I always thought that was a good marketing direction to basically say, we're not telling you that their games suck, we're just saying that if you want our games, you've got to come to our house to play them, right? Xbox is at a point where they've stopped saying, this is our games. This is the best place to play. They, they don't even say that. Used to say that Xbox is the most powerful gaming console. They haven't said that now in like four years. And I feel like it's weird to kind of just watch them say, hey man, please buy them anywhere. We, we just don't care. Look at this. I hope people who say this actually follow through instead of sticking around for the community expressing stuff like this, if they're part of the community in the first place. This is something that's interesting is I have noticed, uh, I think the technical term is purity testing of outgroup ostracization, not to get too in the weeds of technical terms, but it's where you want to constantly test people and say, prove your devotion to the Xbox, prove your devotion to the team, show that you're part of the real fans. If you're not completely diehard and dedicated and loving everything that Phil Spencer says, you're a fake and you will be pushed out like the rest. I think this happens just in general in gaming. Anytime you see people where you're playing a game, oh, you didn't play the game in the right way. Oh, you like Elden Ring, but you used summons. Oh, you like this game or that game, but you didn't beat every side quest and get all the unlockables. So you're not a real fan. I think this exists in everything, but it's definitely very, very much concentrated in the gaming world of these kind of people saying that if you don't like what Xbox is doing at all times, you're not a real Xbox fan. I actually saw even Jez Corden wrote a very good article about this, which is that I honestly think the this is an Xbox marketing blowback. I think it's just a timing thing more than anything else. Microsoft's new this is an Xbox ad campaign is a perplexing masterclass in bad timing that may end up doing more harm than good. So recently they did this big marketing push. It's a bunch of skits and commercials and literally in-person ads. I mean, literally, literally in-person ads saying this is an Xbox. I don't even know how many tens of millions of dollars that Microsoft spent on this. But the idea is that instead of the Xbox being a console and a thing you invest in and a thing you enjoy, now it's just a concept. Now it's just Oh, a Fire Stick is an Xbox. You're an Xbox. Everything's an Xbox. And I've seen a lot of Xbox fans saying like, okay, at this point, this kind of stuff, even if it does end up bumping up Game Pass numbers, doesn't this further water down the brand? Doesn't this taint the brand? Why are you seeing this directly going into the holiday season? Now, every single time, fourth quarter, right? Every single time when it comes to October, November, December, this is when you see the explosion of console sales and games in general. We get Black Friday deals. PlayStation 5 is getting a temporary. We don't know how long it'll last, but it seems like it's going to last for about a month and a half. They're doing a temporary price cut on the PlayStation 5. Xbox is kind of just saying, hey, the best way to save money is to <laughs> sell your Xbox and maybe buy some Game Pass game cards because everything's an Xbox from your phone to your PC to a PlayStation 5. I honestly feel like this tweet would have been better received. I, I just feel like the timing of this more than anything else. If you tried to do this in a, a bit more of a down period, saying this right before the release of Indiana Jones, now we know that Indiana Jones is also coming to the PlayStation 5. I think a lot of the most dedicated, passionate Xbox fans are annoyed that it does feel like Microsoft in general just doesn't care about the systems or the games. They're just trying to basically limp along. He said this, the worst part is I love the vision of this ad. I'm an active user of this ecosystem, particularly cloud and play anywhere. But I keep asking myself, what would I say to someone when they ask, how is my phone an Xbox? It's far more complicated than just calling it an Xbox today, in my opinion. Now, I feel like this is a good follow-up because 
I have talked a lot about the fact that I interact with a lot of casual gamers or I interact with a lot of people that are mid-tier gamers, right? They have a game console, they buy three to five games a year, they buy a lot of stuff on deep discounts, but they don't watch game reviews, they don't interact with gaming the way that a lot of people that are heavily into YouTube probably interact with it. And I do feel like, honestly, the this is an Xbox ad campaign is most damaging to that audience. I'm going to show you a specific example. I've blurred out his name. I've edited out his name, but this is a good buddy of mine who, uh, whose wife really, really, really wanted Starfield for Christmas. Uh, and he didn't know it was an Xbox exclusive. He was like, all right, so I'm thinking about buying a PlayStation and I'm going to buy Starfield. And I said, well, if you're going to buy Starfield, you can't get a PlayStation. You have to get an Xbox. And he was like, wait, what? Uh, he legitimately did not know that. He's like, I'm so I'm lost when it comes to the Xbox naming nomenclature. And I had to explain to him what an Xbox Series X is versus an Xbox Series S. This is a person with a family who buys games that is here trying to buy stuff. And even he is like, I'm on the internet and I don't understand the difference between the different versions of Xbox. And I do still believe that the whole idea of this is an Xbox as an end campaign, it's going to lead to even more of that casual consumer confusion that is kind of the backbone of this market. If someone walks into GameStop and just says, hi, I want to buy an Xbox for myself or for my kid. I haven't gamed in 10 years. I see those comments sometimes. So people saying, I like your video streamcast guy because I'm coming back to gaming after a long break of finishing law school or whatever. Uh, how do I get back into it? What games should I play? That kind of stuff. And I think that audience, when they ask somebody, I want an Xbox, they want a clear answer. This is your PlayStation 5. It's something that plays games that are Sony's and it plays third party stuff. This is an Xbox. It's just a singular device with good graphics and instant load times and a really, really good controller. Just buy it and play it. This idea of, oh, well, there's the streaming service branch of Xbox. There's all this other stuff. There's, oh, there's there's also the cross-play activities. Oh, there's also the streaming stuff. Oh, you can also buy them on PlayStation 5. That stuff doesn't work. Keep in mind, PlayStation is doing this as well. They just don't market it the same way. There is PlayStation game streaming. PlayStation Cloud isn't nearly as good as Xbox Cloud, but it does exist and it is pretty functional. There are a couple PlayStation-made games that are on Xbox, whether it's Destiny or MLB The Show and stuff like that. But Sony isn't coming out running ads saying your Xbox is a PlayStation. Essentially, my conclusion to this is that people are going a little bit too crazy with this. I do think people are, uh, I have been sent this so many times. I've seen so many people so pissed. Just for funsies, let's end off by looking at the post engagements and the quote teats and seeing how many people are just straight up saying, yep, this, this is it. <laughs> Everybody, I don't want to see somebody scream, but yeah. The people working for this company have become so tone deaf, it's crazy. Literally every single reply is disgusted or annoyed. Being a primary Xbox gamer is like having a wife with a boyfriend. Okay, we're going to end off there. Thanks for watching. If you could, please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to uh, follow me on Blue Sky. Um I've been thinking about getting back into streaming. Oh, yeah, my buddy texted me last night. He wants to get matching Sanic tattoos. So like this video. If it gets 3,000 likes, I guess I'll get a Sanic tattoo. But I'm probably going to get it on my like leg or back. I don't want to get it on any of my arms. I don't want to look at a Sanic on my arm for the rest of my life. Also, if I got this too big, I feel like it looked like I have some sort of awful blemish. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.